welcome back to another video as you can see by the title today's video is what's in my shower caddy so i decided to make this video because soon a lot of people are about to go to school and with that like or graduate high school and if you're making a graduation registry which is what i did or just figuring out what you need um as far as college goes um this should help you out so first off i'm going to talk about my shower caddy okay so as you can see it has like holes in it so that the water like drains through it if i hook it like put it on a hook in the shower and water gets in it it'll like go through no problem unlike the other shower caddies um y'all know the plastic ones that don't have the hole in it like the water can't really go through them so it just sits in there and it can mildew and stuff so i recommend the ones with the hole in it and then first i'm going to start out by saying make sure you have shower shoes so that you don't get toe fungus okay and while we're talking about stuff like toe fungus and stuff um i have this mini lysol that stays in my shower caddy and I'll um Lysol the shower like the knob thing in the shower and the curtain and everything before I get into it into the shower and then I also will spray the floor and like the wall area with this disinfectant because I don't know it just makes me feel better even though I'm not like scrubbing it with a sponge it makes me feel better to do that so I'm going to start with, I guess, go from like head to toe. So if I was washing my hair, which I'm not currently right now, um, there would be shampoo and conditioner in my shower caddy. And I'll just throw them in here, to be honest, like in the big section. Did you see there's so many like sections on the shower caddy? And I just don't want to carry it when I'm not going to wash my hair. But make sure when you wash your hair and because I have community bathrooms. So make sure when you wash your hair, you pick up the little shed hair after yourself because nobody wants to see it and nobody wants to be backing up into it if they accidentally touch the wall in the shower. Yeah, just pick up after yourself. So we're going to start with face, um, what I use like for my face. And first, if I'm wearing makeup, I'll use this Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. It's a, like a lotion. You use it on dry skin, like basically without water. Like you don't need water for this product. You just wipe it on your skin. And I use that as a makeup remover. And then I then use a makeup remover wipe, which is kind of like my exfoliant, to be honest, because they are kind of like abrasive on the skin. And it like wipes it off, the rest of the stuff off. And then um, I'll go in with my facial cleanser, my foaming facial cleanser, which this one's compared to CeraVe, but this one's the Equate brand. I use a lot of the Walmart brand stuff. So yeah, and then after that, I use the Pond's um, the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream, and it does get rid of dark spots. It says it can even skin tone in two to four weeks, and I had like dark spots like going down my neck and like on certain parts of my face, and I do believe it went away in like two weeks or four weeks. I don't know, but I've been using this product for like I would say maybe two years now so I think I think it works and next toothbrush and toothpaste um I don't know I just use this toothpaste use whatever you like I don't know and then for your toothbrush make sure you get like some type of cap on your tooth toothbrush or like a holder like this like a travel container because you just want to be sanitary if you're taking the whole caddy with you in the shower um which i recommend so you don't forget anything while you're um in the shower and you're like oh my gosh i forgot something so bring your whole shower caddy with you but um 
yeah, you don't want your toothbrush touching the walls of the shower or I don't know, just in the atmosphere because that's germs. Okay, so next um, I have this bar soap. This one's the Dove exfoliating soap, like the one with the little exfoliant things in it. And um, yeah, just make sure you have a bar of soap. It doesn't really matter what kind, just use whatever kind you like. And then I have it in this um, soap holder. And then this is the Bath and Body Works um, Comfort Aroma Therapy one. And I don't know, I don't have like a favorite body wash, but this, it works. It smells nice, but just any body wash you like. Okay, and then this is some stuff that I use that doesn't necessarily fit into um, a shower, the shower caddy, but I just use it when I'm in my room. Cause you know, so I have um, lotion, and Vaseline, I mean, I use it whenever I come back to my room, not necessarily like in the shower, in the bathrooms, but like, it's a, I guess a part of my shower routine. And I have cotton balls and like Q-tips, but I don't keep them in my shower caddy. They're um, in an organizer, like in my closet. But yeah, um, final item in this video is a robe. Um, I don't know how some people do it, some people, um, just use a towel, but I don't, I, I use a robe and it, it works. It's simple. You know, you just tie it and there you go. Um, I recommend that y'all start looking, um, pretty early for like robes and stuff. Like if you don't have one already, because one thing I noticed when I was looking for mine, I started looking like a month before I, I went to school. So july and a lot of places were sold out of them like tj maxx i know that they have like cheaper ones and they were sold out and i ended up getting this one from target and I, luckily i had a gift card for it but you definitely don't have to pay that much if you look earlier or you can go on amazon or anywhere but i just didn't order one off of online because i wanted to make sure the material was like thick enough and like wasn't like see-through or anything so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like and subscribe and while you're at it turn on those post notifications so that you get notified every time i upload a new video i'll see you guys in the next one bye